Okay, nervous system snacks. Looks like I uh, looks like I generated a bit of interest with that one. So I was starting to tell the, tell the story about yoga snacks or asana snacks. So some teacher, hey Katya, some teacher along the way, and I can't remember if it was online or in person. I think it was online. Taught me this idea of yoga snacks, which is um, just taking yoga postures anytime during your day that suits you. So it's kind of like a snack when you're hungry, you have a snack. Um, don't have too many snacks. <laughs> um, but yeah, so yoga snacks are like, Peggy does this really well, Lara does this really well. Um, and Lara and I actually talked about a whole yoga at the bus stop. And that would be a type of yoga snack because you kind of like take a pose whenever you need it. So Lara or Peggy will just throw their leg up onto the counter and do a yoga pose when they, when they think of it or when they need it. So I was thinking today while I was running that um, I kind of do the same thing or I should do more of the same thing with the nervous system. So I thought about the idea of nervous system snacks. So that would just be a list of things that you can do at any time when either when you think you need it or just when not even when you think you need it, when you actually do need it. So sometimes there can be cues um, for your nervous system. And I'll just start with a few today that you probably already know. But um, I would encourage you to think about where during your day you can put in a nervous system snack. So I realize that I do this. Um, at, lots of you know that I have been quite sick for a while. And one of the things that was very impacted was my nervous system. So I have been taking, um, sort of revamping my life to take these nervous system snacks from time to time. And one of the times that I do it is, for example, when I brush my teeth. So when I stand up to brush my teeth, I take a very conscious, long exhale. Because sometimes we think that we can brush our teeth with our belly muscles. We often think that we can do a lot of things with our belly muscles or our jaw muscles or our shoulder muscles. So sometimes you'll find yourself at a task and you'll find yourself up like this. And so I take, before I brush my teeth, I realize that brushing my teeth is a time when I can be really soft and calm. So I take a, a long, slow exhale. I let everything go. Same thing when I stand at the stove. Every time I stand at the stove to cook something, sometimes I'm in a hurry and I'm like this. And then I remember nervous system snack. So take a long exhale. So there's your first nervous system snack. Easiest one, always with you, it's your breath. So I'll do three today three nervous system snacks. Um, so your breath is the easiest one, breath and soften. And that's really the easiest one, but it's also coincidentally the, one of the hardest ones to remember because it's just with you, within you and you don't think about it. But if you have these cues, you might. The other one is um, what that mom was just putting on is our essential oils. This is Copaiba. This is probably, this is my favorite oil for the nervous system. So a nervous system snack for me is just any time during the day. And these are easier to remember because you see the bottle. If you put it somewhere that makes sense. Um, I, I put it here on my third eye or on my temples or along my vagus nerve. So that's nervous system snack number two. And nervous system snack number three, you all already know, it's um, vagus nerve massage with the ball. So if you have your ball with you right now, grab it and begin to push in, twist and wiggle. If you don't have your ball with you, you can just take your fingertips and begin to tap. And close your eyes and begin to explore, like we were just talking about what is yoga? It's this union between mind and body. And so begin to explore where this makes the most sense for you if you're tapping. And there's lots of different places to tap. Forehead, temples, sinuses. That's another nervous system snack. A little tapping session. So begin to deepen your breath now, long and slow and deep. And take whatever nervous system snack you have chosen. Combining it with your breath. Long, slow, and deep LSD breath. One more, a long, deep one.
Place your ball back down on the ground. And let's go straight into our neck. So just lift your chin gently towards the ceiling. Take an inhale. And exhale, drop it gently towards your chest. Let's do this a few more times. And imagine that you're a beginner at this. Imagine you've never done this before. What can you find here? Can you extend your jaw a little bit as you lift up? Stretching out the fascial sheaths of your neck, skin, adipose tissue, fascia. All the organs underneath, trachea, esophagus, vocal folds. Squish on the way down, squish your chin into that little divot or into your chest. And then see what you can play with here. Can you open your jaw here? And really push. And then begin to take this movement or vinyasa on the breath. Inhale, lift your chin. Where are your shoulders here? Exhale, drop your chin. Inhale, lift your chin on your own rhythm, on your own breath. And because you're a beginner, you have a great curiosity right now about what's happening inside your body and how the breath relates to it. And this could easily be a nervous system snack or a yoga snack. Take a few more, notice your shoulders. And then we'll come into some head circles or neck circles. I'm not a huge believer in neck circles because I think people go towards the back and get a bit destructive. So watch your way back. We already did a little bit of back, right? We lifted the chin. That's as far as I'd like you to go in, in terms of going back. So don't bend your head all the way back. I don't even do that anymore at all, even to show what's wrong with that because it just folds your vertebrae. The neck of vertebrae gets a lot of motion already. So begin to do some neck rolls gently. You can play both sides. And then lift your shoulders up and play again, ear to shoulder, ear to shoulder. Oh, I forgot to turn on my Bluetooth. Let's see what happens if I do this. There we go. Ear to shoulder, ear to shoulder. And then interlace your hands behind your head and pull your chin towards your chest. Bring your back into this. So round your spine as if we're doing a cat pose. And then let's do seated cat cow here. Inhale up, remember Jolly Green Giant tugs on your elbows, pulls them up towards the sky and then exhale, fold down. And you can butterfly your arms here. Bring your elbows towards each other and then open. Lift your chest, yoga snack, exhale. So when you come up, you want the superficial front line of fascia to be tugging. That's along your belly, along your neck, along your chest. And then when we fold, it's the back line all the way along your spine, big muscles of your back, right down to your tailbone, right up to the top of your skull. Take a couple more. Eyes are closed, focus is inside. And let's do sips and sucker punches here. If you need a break for your arms, take a break. Let them come down. Otherwise, up here, take three sips. And exhale all the way out, slow and long. 
curl up, bring your elbows towards each other, and then three little sucker punches in the belly. And then unroll. See if you can make your movement as long as your breath. You will not feel less if you move slow. You will feel more. And just move to the edge of your mobility. Three little sips. Lots of activity in the belly and the back muscles here. Push into your deepest curve that you can here, whether you're in your chair or on the floor. See how my elbows come together a little bit more with each little sucker punch. Inhale, open and hear my elbows widen with each inhale. As if they're being pulled up towards the sky. Last one, fold up like a little snail or like a fern. Three more breaths out. Release and take a few neck circles just to get rid of that tension that you invariably generated there. That was a fair amount of neck work. And let's do sips and sucker punches without that. Just two or three. Deep inhale. Three sips. Actively building lung capacity. Exhale. Find your bottom, exhale fully. Inhale. Three sips. You can bring your shoulders up on the sips if you like. Up into that emergency zone and then down like going down an elevator. All the way down to your back pocket. Fold up in a C curve. Three exhale. Last one. Make it the longest one as long as you can. Three sips. And long exhale. Now hold your breath out if you can. If you don't want to, just return to normal breath. Take a few Sufi grinds with your breath out and notice what it does. Few in each direction. Then return to normal breath. Take a few in each direction. And come back to neutral. I'm going to move to the couch. You can stay right there. Or you can come on the couch if you want. Okay, sun salutes. So you might want, you guys might want to stand up. I don't know. Take a few breaths. So we're going to pay a lot of attention to our neck today in sun salutes. Stretch out your legs in front of you for a more active version. Keep them bent for an easier version and inhale overhead. You can move this carpet, you guys. Exhale, fold. Inhale, long spine. Where's your neck? Long neck. Exhale, fold. Inhale, right knee in or back. Step back into a lunge and then exhale, curl. Where's your neck here? Curl. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, downward facing dog. This is where you do your chaturanga if you like. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. 
Take it easy for your first one. Exhale back, downward facing dog. Inhale, right foot comes forward or left knee comes in. Lengthen your spine. Remember, it's like I'm put my hand on the head, top of your head and you're pushing up towards the ceiling. Now exhale, curl. If you're in a lunge, drop down into your lunge. Big inhale. And exhale, forward fold. Step forward if you're in a lunge. Big inhale. Dive forward. Feel these movements getting juicier and bigger every time you do this. Unless you're resting, unless you're taking it easy today, you can still move your body and take it easy. Reduce your range of motion. Here we go, other side. Inhale, overhead. Exhale, fold. Big lung capacity. That's one thing you shouldn't take easy. Always using your full lung capacity. Unless you get dizzy, then take it easy. Return to normal breath. Inhale, left foot goes back, left knee comes in. Spine is long. See how long my spine is? Exhale, curl. Drop down into your lunge. Big inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Or neutral pose. Or chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog or cat pose. Left leg goes back now or right knee comes in. Long spine. Exhale, curl. Big inhale. Exhale, take a big, huge swan dive forward. Inhale, long spine. Push your chest towards me. We did a little workshop on half lift yesterday. Exhale, fold. Energize your belly and come on up. Reverse swan dive. Exhale, neutral. Let's do one more. Carol, you want to come in front and I'll do some adjustments on you? Inhale, overhead. <laughs> Watch your hands. Exhale, fold. Inhale, long spine. Yes, exhale, fold. Pull your right knee in or step your right foot back. Lunge. And exhale, fold your head into your knee or drop down into your lunge. Big inhale, hold that lunge. Exhale, downward facing dog or neutral pose. Or chaturanga as Kara's doing. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog or cat pose. Now if you're seated, left knee comes in. If you're standing, right foot goes forward. Yes, and then exhale, down, drop down into your lunge. Curl your forehead towards your knee. Take a deep inhale. And then exhale, step forward, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Spine parallel to the floor. Yeah. Head towards the device. Perfect. And then exhale, fold. Inhale, come on up. Exhale, neutral. Beautiful. Thanks, Kara. Other side. Inhale, overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, long spine. Remember what I just did to care. Long spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, left knee in or back. And exhale, curl or drop down. Inhale, long spine. 
Exhale, Chaturanga or Downward Facing Dog. Sit quietly if you're seated. Big inhale, ripple through, Upward Facing Dog. Big exhale, Cat Pose. If you're seated, right knee's coming in. If you're on the floor, left foot comes forward for the other lunge. Inhale. Beautiful, hon. Exhale, curl. Inhale, long spine. Step forward to your forward fold. Extend your legs if you like. Big inhale. Big exhale. And let's come up. And exhale, neutral. Let's practice that one more time because we've been doing three. We've moved from two to three. So we've been doing three, but let's try. If you're sore, let's try to do this as easily and gently and flowy as you can on your body. I'll try and demo. Inhale overhead. First of all, my knees are bent. Exhale, full. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, right knee in or right foot back. Exhale, gentle curl. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, downward facing dog. Neutral pose, seated. Inhale, slide through. Small motion, doesn't have to be big. Gently lift your toe, chin till you feel the tug. And then exhale, small motion. Gently drop your chin until you feel that rounding. Right foot back if you're standing, left knee in if you're seated. Inhale. Exhale, curl or drop down to your lunge. Big inhale. Breath is big. Movement doesn't have to be. Step forward to a forward fold. Extend your legs if you want. There can be a bend in your knees. Big inhale, gentle, long spine. Make space in your spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale up. Another way to take things easy, exhale, neutral. Another way to take things easy is really rely on your belly muscles. They're big muscles. Inhale, overhead. Exhale, fold, and you'll get all kinds of other benefits too. Digestive, just to start the conversation. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, left knee in or back. And exhale, curl. Inhale, long spine or drop down. Exhale, neutral, downward facing dog. Ripple through. Take your effort into your belly muscles or the big muscles of your back. Exhale, cat pose, downward facing dog. Gently, left foot comes forward or right knee comes in. And exhale, curl. Big inhale, long spine. Kara's taking a little break in hero pose. That's perfect. Exhale, forward fold. Big inhale. You okay, Kara? Okay, exhale, fold. Inhale up. Exhale, neutral. Bend your knees. Stand in mountain if you're standing. Open your palms towards your device. Place your palms up towards the ceiling on your knees and take a breath. Let's do side stretch now. 
You can do this seated or standing. If you're standing, it might be a little easier. Standing looks like this. Exhale into the stretch, inhale up. Exhale over. This is what it looks like seated. Opening that side body. We did so much work on your side body two days ago. Maybe you're feeling some echoes there. Maybe you're not. Last few breaths. We're going to hold. Choose a side. Come on over to it and hold. If you're standing, it looks like this. You can extend your hip out away from your bottom arm. Once again, all your effort is in your belly. Big muscles of your belly. Breath is long. Take a gentle glance up to the ceiling if you want more here. And then slow motion, trace a rainbow with your left or whatever is your upper finger all the way up and over. And take your side bend to the other side. As I come in, I'm exhaling. I'm taking a nervous system snack here as I exhale, but I'm not letting go in my belly. We're still doing yoga but I'm softening everything else. Everything that can be softened is soft. My toes are strong, my inner legs are strong, my belly is strong, my breath is strong, but my hands are soft, the tops of my feet are soft, my shoulders are soft. Last breath, inhale, slow rainbow, all the way up. That's belly work, all the way up. Forward fold now, exhale. Gently. So this is a full nervous system snack. Here we go. Hang your head. Interlace your hands behind your neck. The back of your head. If you're seated, it looks like this. If this is too much and you want a little support, something, a cushion is on your chest. Drop your elbows and use the extra weight of your elbows to extend that back line of your body. And take one more full breath cycle. Now we're going to do RRR here. We're gonna resist with our arms. We're gonna come back up to neutral. So you're coming up to mountain pose when you're on the floor, but we're resisting with our arms. We've done this with our head and we'll still do this with our neck, but right now we're resisting with our hands. We're still winning though. We're coming up very slowly. Resist with your arms, lift your chin towards the ceiling, and then exhale forward fold. Drop your head, remove your hands, nod your head yes. Shake it no. And then gently, slowly, neutral. Find your neutral again. We'll do a little bit of neck work. You can come to seated if you want to. You guys can take this or you can take this care if you want. So we'll do R, R, R. So reach up over your head. I don't know how this is going to work with my with Sasha's headphones. We'll see. I think so. I've got my right hand on my left ear right now and I'm reaching out with my left arm. So I'm really reaching out. I'm actually going to reach down to the floor right now because that's how much I want to reach. But you can also just reach for the couch beside you or the chair, the arm of your chair or the floor beside you and exhale, come into your neck stretch, pull your right ear towards your right shoulder. Energize your left fingertips, pull them away from your left ear. You feel that long line? That's a fascial line, it's called your arm line. Push your left fingertips away again. Feel that line all the way to your middle finger. 
And now we're going to do that, re that resist again. So resist, bring your head up towards neutral, up towards straight. Resist with your hand. See if you can feel that all the way down your left arm into that fascial line as you resist. Take a rest breath here, little snack. Soften everything. And then take an inhale. And re-stretch. Pull gently your right ear towards your right shoulder. See if you go a little further. Extend your left fingers towards the floor. Feel that arm line. And then release your hands gently. Bring your head back to neutral. Same thing, other side. So I'm taking my left arm up. Grabbing the tip of my right ear. I'm spreading my left fingers really wide over my head and pointing my right fingertips down towards the floor. If you've got them on the chair, really push the fingertips into the chair. If you're pointing down towards the floor, you can lengthen even more and then come into your stretch. So left ear goes towards left shoulder. And this is not a super muscular stretch. I've said this lots of times before. We're really just using the extra weight of your arm and the heavy weight of your head and gravity. And now push your right fingertips further into the floor or further towards the floor. Notice that length of that fascial line. You can almost feel it as if you have like um, really, really long gloves like they wear in um, Downton Abbey, those gloves. Imagine you have those gloves all the way up to your neck, right down to your fingertips, and you're stretching them out. And now we're gonna resist. So begin to lift your head towards straight. Take it very carefully. Each side will be different. Begin to lift towards straight. And at first, just feel it out. Just see if you can just put hardly any resistance from your hand, and then you'll kind of get used to it and you'll know what you can do. And then resist, resist, resist. Bring your head towards straight. When you get towards straight, take an inhale. Exhale, nervous system snack. So just release everything, whatever you can release. I still have my hand up there. You can take it away if you want. And then we're gonna re-stretch. So here we go. Take a deep inhale. Make your fascia into broccoli elastics and lean your left ear towards your left shoulder. Push your right fingertips away. Push them away again. What can you feel in your neck here? Come back to center. Release your hands. Take a few little neck rolls. Notice you might have a very different feeling neck right now. Don't worry, it'll go back. You have lots of patterned movements that'll take you back into your old patterns, but you might gain a little bit. That's the whole point today. All right, we're gonna do snail and that might be our last posture. I have no idea what time it is, let's see. Uh, oh yeah, we have time. Okay, let's bring our left arm up and look into our left elbow crease with our nose and our eyes and then curl into cat pose. Bring your elbow towards your bikini line on the left side. So this is what I call snail pose. You're getting a different stretch in the back of your neck now, and more on the side and towards the back. Take a few breaths. Reposition your hand, get it nice and strong, and we're gonna do the same thing. It's gonna be resist, 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 and we're gonna come all the way up as if the Jolly Green Giant is lifting our elbow up towards the ceiling, up, 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 up. Lift your chin, resist, and exhale, fold. So we're just doing a little bits of resisting here. We're not going to do a formal RRR. Let's do it one more time. Resist a little bit with your hand. Mostly you're just using the weight of gravity. Check in with your right hand here. What's it doing? Is it soft? Lift up, lift your elbow towards the corner of the room where the ceiling meets the wall and the wall meets the wall and then exhale back down to snail. 
the other side. So come through neutral. Take a little snack in the middle, a little breath. Find the back of your head. Curl up. Find the sensation of that. That's another fascial line down the side of the neck, middle back of the neck, sort of back diagonal quarter of the neck. Take a breath or two to get used to that sensation and then begin to open up, open up. So your right elbow is being lifted towards the corner of the room. That place, maybe it's the ceiling ahead of you, on top of you, however high you can go, lift your chin and then fold again elbow comes into your right bikini line crease or inguinal crease one more open up really noticing how this feels different from the thing we just did the side to side stretch this is a lot of different muscles here little tiny muscles but very different this also involves your shoulder blade a lot more and we did a lot of shoulder blade a couple of days ago. Curl up. Release, come back to neutral. And then just tap out your neck again. Tap especially in the back. Under your ears, near your jaw. Wiggle your jaw. And we have time for one more pose. We're going to do bridge pose. So you can come to the floor if you're not there already to do bridge pose. If you're on your sofa, you have a couple of options. It's bridge pose is actually a lifting pose. It's like an inversion. So on the sofa, you can do, or on your chair, you can do cat cow, or you can make your way off of the chair Lift your legs into the air and put them on the chair. We've done this before. If you're doing it on the floor, like a regular bridge pose, the soles of your feet are on the floor. I'll show you that. I'm spinning around like a break dancer. This is what bridge pose looks like, full bridge pose. And now we're just going to lift up our pelvis just a little bit and then replace it. And lift it up and replace it. So if you're on the couch, you base or on the chair, you're basically just pushing into the chair with your with your calves and lifting up. And you can make that movement bigger and bigger and bigger. If you know bridge pose and you're on the floor, you can interlace your shoulders underneath you can interlace your fingers and come up onto your shoulders if you're sitting in your chair at this point this is kind of chair bridge you can interlace your fingers behind you open up your chest take a few breaths Hannah's holding a kettlebell on top of her pelvis. <laughs> She's doing the full, full pose. Last breath here. Unlace your hands, release your shoulders. Come to neutral. Take a breath. Notice that snack sensation. What does it feel like to exhale gently? How much of your body can you get involved in that release process? On your long, slow, deep exhale, can you drop your shoulder blades? If you're on the floor, you can move your way to Shavasana. You can stay like Kara is with your legs on the couch. 
So you can come into full Shavasana. If you're on the couch or your chair, move back so that you feel the chair at the backs of your knees. Just helps you soften, I think. Turn your palms towards the ceiling. And let that warm wave wash over you. Softening from feet all the way up to head. If that seems counterintuitive, if it seems more likely that the wave is going to wash over you from head to foot, try that. It's funny, you know, I've been teaching yoga for something like 15 years, 16 years, and I still have difficulty forcing myself to sit still sometimes. Even after that year of learning about my nervous system, I still, some days I don't get it. We need to be still. We need to fully rest after we work. Not every muscle in our body needs to be tight all the time. That was not the way of our ancestors. Get everything as soft as you can. Soften the space between your eyebrows. Smooth out your forehead. Let your scalp be soft. And now soften also your mind. Soften what's behind your forehead. Smooth it out, open it out. If it helps, you can think to yourself, exhale on the exhale. And inhale on the inhale. You can even write them out in your mind's eye as if you're writing them out longhand. Sometimes the mind needs something to hold on to in order for it to be still. And any last area that is tight and release it. And then as if you are at that bottom step, begin to climb back up the steps. Gently inhale a little brighter. Feel the coolness of the air in your nostrils and exhale a little brighter. Feel the warmth of the air as it exits your body and then inhale a little brighter still. Gently coming back into sympathetic tone. So we descend into parasympathetic state, a rest and digest state, and then we gently begin to make our way back into more sympathetic, getting things done state. Lengthen your breath, wiggle your fingers. These states of the nervous system are not black and white. You are not either resting and digesting or getting things done. You are always a mixture of both. It's like when you drive your car, there's usually a little bit of gas, a little bit of brake. Begin to sparkle your eyes open. And sparkle is a word that's really a kind of sympathetic word. Sparkle your eyes open. Sparkle your cheekbones up. This is the energy that gets things done. 
This is the energy you can take with you for the rest of your day. If you're lying in Shavasana, remember to come out slowly, gather your knees into your chest and roll over to one side. Thank you so much, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow. I'll try. Well, probably I won't have to try. I'll probably just in my dreams, I'll probably think about more nervous system snacks. And if you think of anything that you do for a nervous system snack that you don't even know was a nervous system snack, let me know because I'll make a list. I'll put it on my blog. Thanks, Nikki. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Thank, you. Bye, Thank you so much, Nikki. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank You're you. very welcome. Hi, Katja. Good to see you. Hi, Fiona. Do your nervous, Thanks, do your nervous system snacks. We need this right now. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me how many times tomorrow you did a nervous system snack. Not chips. <laughs> I had, chips, I had some have chips count too really uh, it's de desperate measures for a desperate time <laughs> bye everybody bye, bye. Yeah. Nice to thank, see you. thank you love you yeah bye hey